Station Dreamers. Insomniac. Hello. 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 There's nothing really that wrong with it. It's your typical three-bedroom home built in the 80s, brick veneer. It's just a little... Cookie cutter, isn't it? It's flat. It's cookie cutter. I think there's a window behind there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> First job on the list. Well, actually, we'll have to do a little look see. You guys can head inside. We'll head outside and have a look around the garden. Awesome. It's just brown. It's hurt my eyes. It's cotton again. You know that. Daddy likes it. That's just daddy. Daddy, you're outside with us. You're in the with us. This is good, good no, size. This is a great size room. What size are that? That's a huge TV. Put the furniture under it. That it doesn't like fit. An old study desk or something. Like you know, I love big TVs, but I think we need to kind of, you know, have something else in the room, a bit more character. Yeah, don't you think? Very bland. It's all about the TV in here, and I don't think it should be. All right, Hodgie, first impressions. First impressions. Crack of the footpath, Pebble Creek. What's going on with this lawn? <laughs> you know, they're doing grass skiing on the weekend here. Hey, I think there's a lot of potential in this little courtyard area down here. A lot of potential in that courtyard. It's sunken, so you've already created a little bit of intimacy. Yeah. It won't feel like the front yard when we're finished with it. Beautiful. All right, out back. See, this is good. Hey. Nice surprise. This is in good nick, isn't it? It's in great condition. Yeah. Timber, solid. Yeah, solid timber. I think it's pretty sound, but maybe just little cosmetic touches. You know, yeah. might a bulkhead, that would make a world of difference. Yeah, definitely. Bench top's great. Yeah. And maybe something with a window. Yeah. Know. Looking out there, there's a, there's a massive deck. It's huge. And that's just going to give it potential to even open up more, isn't it? It's such a shame, isn't it? Because it feels very boxed in here. You've got this yeah. beautiful space and you're just begging to see out. I think yeah. we need to do something there, don't you think, to well, open I mean, it up? Definitely can do something yeah. To open but this is, this is a bonus. Yeah. Wow, what an odd shaped backyard, but it's actually massive. It's huge, it goes forever. Wow. But it's all disconnected. Yeah, very disconnected from the house. But what I'm excited about is over the course of all those segments we're going to do here, we're going to do a lot of gardening, not just landscaping. You know, cutting both these hedges back, getting them down to a compact size, feeding them up so they're really thick. Yeah. Making them look their absolute best, but taking up a lot less land. Yeah, okay. Do you know what I like? It's the first time ever we're actually able to see it grow over a period of time. Yeah, that'd be good. It'd be awesome. Okay, so it's a three bedroom house. Yeah, and here is another one. That's a double bed. And this desk is huge. Yeah, we could maybe keep the desk or do a smaller version of so there's still a desk in there yeah, for one of the girls. Definitely. I like that it's got built in wardrobes, that's good. A nice hardwood floor? Yeah, yeah that's good. really good. So the bathroom in the middle doesn't have. No, okay. Pretty so small towers. Now, you're not a big lady. Even you in there, it's going to be tight, isn't it? It's kind of a tiny shower, isn't it? Very old fashioned. Yeah. See, I'm not tall by any means, but. Ooh. <laughs> is that claustrophobic? <laughs> we had these tiles growing up. It's amazing. The old brown glass, this really does age. I think we have to do something here. Yeah. We could rip this out. We could actually make the loo in the bathroom and make it a lovely big, maybe double sinks. When your bathroom is this small, you need to utilise all the space I you can agree. get. Up. This is a big job, but you know, I think worth it. Oh, they've had a little side of the veggie patch. We can improve on that though, Hodgie, can't we? It's the side of the house that nearly every <laughs> place has got, isn't it? Wow, we just want to see this bit. We'll build it and they will come. And we've got to capitalise on this. Whoa, I'm thinking man cave. I'm thinking I'm moving in. <laughs> oh, see, this is where the family live. Yes. It just doesn't look very nice. Look at the cracking in the pavement. Nah, not importing at all, it's is not it? It's welcoming this all overhead. I think we can make this so beautiful. You know what? We've got to see the laundry. I know there's a laundry around ah, here. Yeah. So... Ah, oh, gem. Wow, way. <laughs> Look at the floor. That's a treasure from the past. I don't think I was born when these were around. <laughs> <laughs> I was. <laughs> I definitely was. Some people would hate us to cover these and get rid of them. Oh, they would. They yeah. would. But coming from a millennial um, okay. like myself, Okay, we'll have to decide on this. Maybe you can let us know. Should we keep or should they go? Sure. <laughs> All right, come on, we've got some washing to do. Let's do it. I'll take the pens. Oh, help! Oh. Help! Oh. Yeah, Hello. Hello. So, what do you think? 
You do it a bit like of a laundry out here. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So we got the pegs. Do you know what? You've actually hit the nail on the head. They, they, the family have not used this deck for anything other than having the washing out because it is so hot. Scorching hot. But interesting, you guys came through the laundry. We came up a great big step. It's not really connected in the right place with the house. It's not. This is where they hang the laundry, and I think that's yeah. all they do out here, which is such a waste of space. It's great. Yeah, it is. It's a fantastic size deck as well. And the view. Roof, 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 roof. We roof, can do roof, something roof, about that. The best thing roof. about this is these guys sound so excited about the deck. This is going to be your first task. It's guys. got great Have potential, fun. right? Oh, fantastic. Well, okay. I think we can get the squeak out of the ball. Can you hear the squeaks? Up. Yeah, on, that's the, the first task. Oh, apparently we've got to hang out those washing. So relaxing out here. <laughs> you're so, you're, that, you're making coming. it look very awkward. This is as close <laughs> as there is to a chair. <laughs> the good thing is we've got plenty of room to actually make And possibilities, right? Yes. Yeah. What do you reckon about this deck? Is it in good nick? I mean, it's a little bit cupping here. It is in good nick. It just needs to be um, fixed down properly. Mm. And trust me, if we rejuvenate this, it will come back looking brand new. So what we're going to do here is create some shade with a couple of sails and add some seating. And by adding a retaining wall at the base of the deck, we can screen out the neighbours with plants. I think this size deck needs a bigger entrance than this, doesn't it? Well, the step's huge at the moment, but huge in the wrong way. It's huge this way. Yeah. Yeah. I think we need to create a landing out there so it's a gentle in. I don't want to do anything with the brick. I think we should go with the brick, go au natural, but... Yeah. Um, you know, I just think we should celebrate the brick this that's year. That's good. Well, I'll finish this and then I'll start chopping up some concrete. I'm going to make noise today, yeah. sorry. Yeah, well, that's Cheers. all right. That's all right. I'll be <laughs> sitting down cooking the toad. Now, this little machine is probably one of the most dangerous things you can use when you're landscaping. It's definitely not a spectator sport. Don't invite the family and friends around to watch you. But make sure you've got one person watching you. Now I've got little G up there, he's keeping an eye on me, keep an eye on the line. Because this deck is facing west, it absolutely gets smashed by the sun. Now they've put down some secret fixings, but unfortunately where all the joins are, they're just popping. So I'm gonna go through and top screw all, and that will hold it in place. Before we get started on our retaining wall, this old Pebble Creek path has got to go. And thanks to Jason's hard work with the saw, it will take no time at all. It's kickoff time, so while the boys are busy, I thought I'd make a start on some furniture for the deck with some coffee tables as my hero centerpiece. I want to make something a bit different, something round and organic and something that will bring greenery up onto the deck. So these will be my base and instead of planting plants in them, the plan is to use this form ply to create kind of lids for each of the pots and then within the lids, I'm going to cut out circles and use little plant pots and that's where the greenery goes. So let's get started cutting out circles. For this smaller pot, I want to have two little bursts of greenery, a slightly bigger pot and a smaller one here. So for that, what I've done is just marked out the pot circumference here in the middle. These will go kind of toward the side, just slightly offset. But these edges, well they're raw, they do need to be sealed from the elements. And to bring this deck back to life, I'm just putting a timber reviver on it. I'm gonna let it sit for about 15 minutes and then hose it off and you'll see the difference in color and this deck will be ready for staining. We do need to take care of this sail cloth shade out here, don't Creating you think? Creating shade, definitely. Westerly facing, that's why no one comes out here. It's yeah, just- It is brutal, isn't it? It's like being on Mars, <laughs> it's just so bad. Yeah. So, decision time. Oh, we've got some colours. Now, obviously, co <laughs> you're not going to let me pick the colour tars. Surely final not. Final say. <laughs> so we could go blonde. Yeah. But because we're going to stick with the blonde brickwork, personally, I think that's too much. <laughs> now, this one will actually pick out the grey in the mortar. My personal favourite would be this one. Because, yeah, again, you know how I said before, I want to celebrate the bricks. Yeah. Black it is? Black it is. You reckon? Should yeah. we have a look? Let's pull it out. Oh, 
Oh, these are really good because they're UV resistant as well. So I think it's going to offer a lot of sun protection as well as make it just generally nicer. Yeah. So we'll anchor this side to the house. Yeah, beautiful. And then we just need uh, someone to dig us a hole, Tars, out here. Ah. Oh, good day, buddy. So, do you want anything for you, Tara? <laughs> oh, that was cold. <laughs> Oh, good start. You'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot more holes than this one. We've also got to dig all the holes for our retaining wall cleaner box. This could take a while. Everybody loves Lego, right? Well, if you love your Lego, you're going to love this. Basically, building blocks for grown-ups. Out of this stuff, which is basically little connectors, plastic connectors and square aluminium tubing, you can make furniture lightweight, durable, easy to assemble. So exciting. See how quickly this came together? Look at this, you've got a sturdy console table, add a lid. It's a pretty smart piece of furniture. It's the posts that are going into the ground that give our retaining wall its strength. So if I set the first one and the last one, now I've just got a little bit of dry concrete in the bottom of that. Reason why, heavy clay soil, there's a fair bit of moisture around. Now I can put a bit of water in there, more concrete, set this one, set the last one. Put a string line on the top and I can run all the way through with the other ones. These posts are no different to say a fence post. Start at the ends and then fill in the middle. For such a big deck, this entrance is not wide enough. So I'm gonna take this post out, which is great because you can see there couldn't be any more bow. I'm cutting these wires and I'm gonna pull them out. I'm gonna take those tensioners and attach it to this post here. Then this top capping. It is not working. You can see that there's an angle here, so you couldn't even put a refreshing beverage here if you wanted to. I'm gonna unscrew it all, take it all down, and replace it with something wider. Ah, already feels more welcoming. And we're ready for the pole for the shade sail to go in. You got a good grip on it, boys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh! Yeah, you want it back that way, do you? We could put a flag on that. Oh. Happy days. Everyone's happy. Well done, right, Tara. It's always good to work with you. Hodgie, you go all right, mate. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> mate. Now, We've got our joints sitting behind our posts, and if you look at the way we've set it out, there's a post at every 1.2, and then they hit right in the middle here behind it. And you can see how we've staggered it. It's exactly like brickwork. If you do it straight on top of each other like that, that'll be a real weak point, and this post will bow out. But if you do it in stretcher bond, the pressure's dispersed over every post, and it will stay the straightest for the longest. Then it's a matter of just repeating the process and building up your layers. Filling the new beds with soil and giving everything a coat of paint. What is this one? I think it's heavy, yeah, it's a barbecue. Do you want me to take it? These oh. things aren't painted on you, eh? <laughs> I was just trying to help. <laughs> We're hard at work to create a deck that will become a beautiful outdoor living space. And to make sure it gets plenty of use, we need to add both privacy and shade. To finish off this deck, we're going over it with the grey stain, which is going to blend in with Tara's dark post that she's painting over there. Now, the tip when the sun is shining like this is not to coat too many boards at a time. So I'll be going over two of them, and you want to make sure that you go with the grain. These metal decorative panels are such a quick and really effective way to screen off an otherwise ugly view. And of course, I am referring to the rooftops. Not my good friend John here. Hey, John. <laughs> he is beautiful. Hello. These panels were so easy to install. Don't they make a huge difference? I need some weight over here. Someone want to help? Yeah, mate, what do you need? Oh, Jay's perfect. Is that, that enough? That is uh, spot on. Looks like a harvest. And for 
the landings, I'm just laying down some Merbal decking board. The two main plants you're going to see from up on the deck is this water housier or weeping lily pilly, and then another hedge we're going to put through that higher garden bed. That one there will kind of hug the deck and make it a little bit more private. This one will grow up, put those poles there into proportion because it'll max out between five and seven metres. Love these sails, they're so fun. Ah! There you go. Twist the turnbuckle. And stretch it in. Look at that, it's so good. It is cool, isn't it? Well, hopefully it'll be a lot cooler. <laughs> Do you need to stretch? Oh, you got one. You hooked it. Oh, the wind was on my side. Look at that. Hey, see, Joe Griggs can't walk under this, but we can. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fine. That's her it's fault for being so tall. <laughs> it's can, cooler already. You can yeah. feel the difference, can't you? Absolutely. I like the fact that there's two and it's a little bit architectural and it breaks up the brick work. Oh, you learned that from Pete Calhoun, did architectural. Who? Yeah, he's using big words again. <laughs> Now the garden down here is pretty simple. I want people to look at it rather than have to worry about it. We've got lily pillies, this one's Acmena smithii minor. A little bit smaller, more compact, tight leaf, make a great hedge. I reckon if we got to about two or three hundred mil high in the handrail, it'll look perfect. Then we step down, kangaroo paws, lamandras, and little cousinets. Now these spread out to about a metre to two metres. So what they should do is spill down and hide a bit of the wall and soften it. And up here, little oriental pearls. Now, I planted these in my dad's backyard and about 18 months later, they've never been pruned and they keep a really nice tight ball. So in other words, next to no maintenance on this garden, but you've got all nice contrasts and it'll always look good. This barbecue's got the lot out, Dick. It does have a lot to ask. It's even got the kitchen sink. It certainly has. Wog burner storage too. That's very nice. Look nice high bar table. Nice little prep station. Oh yeah. I made these, rather proud of them. Oh, did you? Yeah. Good work, Amazing, huh? So as long as they keep the water up to these plants, they're going to grow and flourish out here, wouldn't you? Yeah, uh, that is awesome. Living coffee table. <laughs> That's wicked. Tars over you. <laughs> <laughs> Make over one for this house complete. And I think yeah, you did good job. Last. It's not the last. We've got so much more to do. Hasn't this house got some potential? It's come up an absolute treat. I like all of the shades and compared to what we had here before. Remember that dry old deck, totally barren. It was like being on Mars. Look at it now. Who's more comfortable? Couldn't stand out here the other day. Nah, yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. And more importantly, there was nowhere to sit out here the other yeah. day. Yes. Right, to that. Ah, well done. Well done. That's it. High fives. Three. There you go. We love you, right? Oh, cheers. 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 Cheers to a 